coming. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but we weren't the first. Comb O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh. This video is going to be a little different to my other repaint videos. First off, this is the first time that I have done any sculpting myself. And also, this horse is going to be based off a video game horse from Red Dead Redemption 2. Me and my sister are both fans of this game. I discovered it fairly recently, I think, during the lockdown. But I really love this game. I think the setting is so beautiful. It's probably the most realistic game I have ever seen. So yeah, I kind of fell in love with this game quite quickly and so I decided I wanted to create a model of some of the horses from the game. My long term goal with this is to create a model horse of each of the gang members horses, which is probably going to take me a while, but I have to start somewhere so I decided to start with Dutch's horse. And if you have played the game, you know Dutch is the leader of the gang. And so here is the horse I'm going to begin with. This is the Count, being ridden by Dutch here. The Count is an Arabian stallion. He looks kind of like a grey horse, but he is actually a Polino horse, because he has blue eyes and a kind of pinkish nose as well. Grey horses typically have brown eyes but uh, Polino is actually a double dilute colour so yeah he looked like he was going to be a bit of a challenge for me but I was willing to give it a go and so this is the horse I chose to model him off this is the model for the Schleich paint mare from 2019 I let my sister choose the model and she thought that this one would suit the count especially with his kind of face shape I decided I wanted to try and sculpt his tail differently. I especially wanted to take the flower out of his tail because I didn't think that suited him. Uh, like I said, I had never tried sculpting before, but I wanted to make the model more like the Count, so I decided to challenge myself. So I began by filing his tail down a bit to make it uh, thinner and then I re-sculpted over the top of it. The tail probably turned out to be my least favourite part of all the sculpting that I did. I did actually do it twice because I wasn't happy with it the first time, uh, so I did sand it down and re-sculpt it again. I think I need a little bit more practice. Um, it turned out a bit thicker than I wanted it to, but as it was my first try, I'm still pretty proud of it. Originally I was going to leave it at that and only do the tail but I actually really enjoyed learning to sculpt so I took this as a chance to challenge myself and try some more. So then I started progressing to the mane of the horse and decided to give him a longer and more count like mane. If you look at photos of him from the video game, his mane is technically on the wrong side um, where I have sculpted it, but um, it was too much of a challenge for me to change it on this occasion. I just went with how the flow of the mane was going on the original. So yeah, I, I wish it was on the right side, but it's just a little thing. Um, and then I decided to take it even further and I started sculpting some of the muscles and the face. So yeah, I changed the face shape a bit and crafted it to look more like the Count. Um, like a bit more Arabian in that shape. I changed the forelock as well and just added in some lines where the muscles are. To be honest, the original mould is not my favourite because I feel it lacks a few details, so it was nice to be able to put them into the model. I also changed the model from a mare to a stallion because the Count is a stallion. 
And yeah, that was all the sculpting part done. So then I took him outside and I primed him. I primed him white and I primed him quite thoroughly because he needed to be such a light shade. So yeah, then once he was all primed, I could start on his colour and I did this using pastels. I slowly built up his colour. I tried not to go too strong, but I added in a little extra colour to make him not look too much like a grey. Because as I said, he's not a grey, he's a perlino. I feel like I may have gone a little heavy on the shading, but at the same time, I think it adds a lot of definition to him and especially his muscles, so I do quite like it in a way, especially when I take him outside and with all the light out there as well, bouncing off him. And then the final step was to add the paint details, which I did using acrylics. So I did his hooves and added some extra details to them. I did his lovely blue eyes, and then I just put a few little details around his face as well. Then I could sign him and give him his final seal. And then here he is all finished. He's not perfect but I'm really happy with how he turned out in the end especially for my first time sculpting and it's made me discover that I really enjoy sculpting and I can't wait to do more of these Red Dead Redemption horses hopefully soon. He is a personal piece for me and my sister so he's not for sale but I do have other models for sale in my Etsy shop if you are interested. Of course I had to take him out and take some photos with him so I will show you his photo shoot at the end but for now that's everything so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon in another video. Have a lovely day everyone, I'll see you soon. Bye!